<laughs> In today's video, we're going to share with you the importance of maintaining focus. Hi, Mike Hendricks here. And it's Tony Mallett here. Here with the Think to Thrive team. And we're going to show you again today some powerful insights and personal stories that's going to help you move forward and help you start to think in a way that's going to help you to thrive. So today we're talking about the power of maintaining focus and keeping your eyes on the prize. Why is that important for uh, people moving forward and progressing to keep that focus? Well, this, this comes from our module on horizons in the Think to Thrive program, Mike. Uh, and I want everybody to imagine that you're looking ahead across a field and in the distance there is the horizon. It could be 10, 15, 20, it could be 100 miles away, but that horizon is your goal. That's where you're heading to. So you fix your eyes on that horizon. All successful people know that. They have the horizon in view and they move towards that horizon. They keep going and they, they don't lose sight of that. And that's what defines success from failure. Um, but I imagine we're both sat on this chair now and we could both look ahead to find the horizon, which we're both doing now. But immediately in front of us down here, where our feet are, we have grass, we have the ground. Now it's important as well as keeping focus on the horizon, Mike, you've also got to have your feet focused on where you are now and keeping that ground stable. Because if the ground beneath you isn't stable, <laughs> you'll see yeah, love the place. your horizon becomes wobbly and you, you'll lose sight. So uh, I think it's important for everyone to understand that when you follow your dream, we are saying, if you can hold it in your head, you can hold it in your hand. That is truth. That's definitely truth. However, meanwhile, making sure that you're stable. Mm -hmm. So if that means you maybe need to do a part-time job to earn a little bit more cash to allow you to be feel a little bit more stable so that you can then write that book better or do those blogs better or film the videos better. There's nothing wrong in that. We are not ever saying in the Think to Thrive program that you have a thought and bang, it just arrives. Yeah, and I think that's where a lot of people do get discouraged when it comes to when we talk about things such as manifestation or making progress towards your desires. They think that just because you think that thought, the next day you wake up, it'll be outside your box, outside your house, you know, in a box delivered by Amazon. That's not quite how it works in us. No. There no. is obviously instant manifestation, and the fact that you can think a thought or spark a thought about a particular desire or want, we know it's already here. But in saying that, there are certain steps and processes that you have to be aware of in order to have that thought, that desire manifest itself physically in your life. I mean, we're all capable, Mike, all of us are capable of instant, well, we always manifest instantly, but mm. we, are, we are capable of, of instant manifestation, but no one's really got it down that good. I mean, the ancient mystics, maybe, we could think about, but it, there's very few people that get that right. So meanwhile, it's just keep on, keep on going. And as JC Penny said, famous quote, my eyesight may be failing, but my vision has never been stronger. Mm, I just, love that quote. Just think about that for a moment, yeah. So, worst thing may not be going perfectly around you, as long as you can keep your eyes on that horizon, on exactly where it is that you want to go, and take inspired action in the direction of that, even if it may not seem, well, this is not what I want to experience right now, or this does not seem the obvious thing to do, as long as it's inspired action, in the direction of your desire, you will meet that ultimate goal, that desire that you, that you, that you want. But what if, Mike, somebody walked up to you and said, yeah, but surely if you're taking that path, that's taking you away from the path that you were on that was gonna get you to, to your goal. I, I talked to you about Thomas Troard's teachings. Mm. Can you remember that, about the path? Uh, it's not that particular lesson that <laughs> reminded me about, but, but it, it leads me to a point of saying that the path will always lead to the ended goal. Oh, that is the point, by the way. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> it did go in. <laughs> the path will always lead. So whether that is in a straight line, or whether that means going backwards, to go left, to go right, but then go forward, mm. it will always lead to you. As long as you mm. talked about at the beginning, is keeping clear focus on what it is that you'd like to 
bring into your experience, what it is that you'd like to bring into your life. That's the key thing here because it's very easy to get distracted and once you get distracted you can get discouraged. Mm -hmm. But if you are, have a clear, almost uh, bloody minded approach to yeah. moving forward, I am going to see this experience. But at the same time have a level of ambivalence mm -hmm. and trusting that it will unfold in the right way yeah. and at the right time. Yeah things will begin to happen. As Zig Ziglar said, um, when you're sailing in a boat, it's not so much the bearings or the course that's important, it's the setting of the sail. Absolutely. That's um, um, Bob, Bob talks about as well, rocket ship sets off to moon. 90% of the time it's off course. Yeah. It's always correcting, 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 correcting. And it's the same when you're reaching your desire. I know for myself, when I started off with my goal of uh, a few years back having my own fitness studio. I didn't have a clue what I was doing. I just know I wanted to be the owner of a fitness gym studio which would invite people in to come and improve their fitness and their well-being. Did I know what I was doing? Didn't have a clue. But the goal was clear and the focus was clear in my mind of what it is exactly what I wanted to do. So I spoke to people, I didn't know anything about planning permission, didn't know anything about solicitors, didn't know anything about um, insurances, didn't know anything about certain warranties and certain legal legislations, didn't know any of that. But did I learn on the way? Of course, <laughs> sure yeah. I did. Yeah. And after a period of time, I got enough information to open the studio. So it's the same with your goals. Um, so, what do you think? Have you had a goal, a desire that you'd like to move towards, but felt that you haven't been able to do it because you've been distracted or maybe even felt discouraged? Leave us a comment below. We'd love to hear your thoughts. And I'll just add to that and say that if you're interested in, the, in this information and finding out more on the Think to Thrive program, we bury a lot deeper into these Absolutely. topics and we do have is it five areas? Thinking, Thinking horizons, reading, ingestion, vitality, and embark. So this today's lessons come from the horizon section. Talking about horizons and keeping focus and why it's very powerful to keep your eyes on your desire, on your goals, on your dreams, what it is that you want to achieve. Um, so yeah, we'd love to hear your feedback. As I said, leave us a comment below. If you've not subscribed to our channel, what are you doing? Why not do that now? So I hit that subscribe button. So when we do upload weekly videos, you will not miss out. Okay, until next time, to your success. To your success.